it just barely fits. So today on RC Guy Garage, we actually took out the uh, 1995 Geo Tracker. We've got the DBXLE 2.0 in there, and obviously you can see we've got a little bit of a change out to FLM paddle digger tires. So we're gonna take the uh, DBXLE and we're gonna blast it on this property right here, which we're kind of running out of sunlight, so it's just one of those deals where I just run out of time, but I just want to see what it can do and hopefully it'll rip. I think it'll rip with those uh, paddle digger tires. It should do pretty good. So now we're rocking three GoPros. <laughs> As it's ready to go. Oh, it's gonna be weird with these ripper digger digger rippers on here. Holy crap! Oh, oh, it's muddy. <laughs> Let's see what the thing can do. Little paddle ripper diggers. Talk about some sand on that GoPro. Jesus, that's why I've got that one there. Holy smokes. See anything like that I don't even know. It should be alright though. Oh, what's that GoPro saying no already? Come on. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, well, you know what, let's just, uh, let's just save it, take it right out of here right now, saying no already, and just rip it without that GoPro, is what it is. <laughs> Already, they already wiped the pinion out. I did. It slipped the damn pinion already. Holy crap! Yeah, I think I slipped the pinion again. God oh, is what it is. So that was short-lived. Let's take it over to the uh, take it over to the uh, the little tracker over there, and we'll see what happens. 
Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Of course, I didn't bring any tools, but it is what it is. I gotta get the sand out of this thing. Hang on. Gonna pop the top real quick. See what we can see. Well, I'll rip it for a couple seconds. Anyway. Alright, so. All right, not quite sure what's going on here. So we are going to have to tear into this thing again. It's almost as if something happened with the um, the center diff. I don't know, because the rear's fine. Rear's fine independently of the front, so obviously, We've got some kind of a connection issue here. So we may just have to pop that center diff out when we get this thing back home and uh, see what's going on. I think basically this is my thought. Maybe it was just hooking up too good. Maybe that's, maybe that's the deal. Maybe those paddle tires were literally hooking up just too good. Now yeah, we'll pull it apart and we'll see what happens. So, And that's the thing, man. This DBXLE, the thing's a beast. But when you push stuff, you got to expect stuff is going to go wrong. Stuff's going to happen. So we'll tear into that thing and we'll see what's up. So thanks for watching this uh, brief episode from RC Guy Garage. I'm out. Those tires were actually doing pretty good too. So we're back. We're going through it. Obviously, you know, gave it a spin. Thought uh, we had center diff issues, but apparently that's not what the problem is. Obviously on the... Um, Obviously, in the field, you know, sometimes you just overlook stuff, and I don't know. So you can see I'm uh, I'm spinning that wheel there, and we've got the axle uh, shaft spinning, <laughs> but we don't have the wheel spinning. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I think we got a disconnection issue here, because I don't think that uh, wheel's supposed to free spin like that. And then upon uh, further uh, inspection, focus. Yeah, you can see we got some issues in there. I'm going to put the flash on so you can see what's going on. All right, so with the flash on, I think we can see a little bit better maybe what's happening in here. Um, I honestly, I, I want to take this apart just to see exactly what what is going on in here because did we shear a pin or what, what the hell is going on in here? It's like I'm trying to see inside uh, what we're looking at here. But it looks like we might have sheared a pin off, or... I, I don't know, man. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to have to tear it apart. I'm also noticing down here... I don't know if that's crunchiness that I'm seeing. It's really hard to see inside of there. I don't know if it's crunchiness, or if the pin just... Like, came out and wailed that corner right there. Kind of almost looks like that's what happened. I'm going to zoom in right now. See if I can see it. Yeah, it looks like some destruction happened there. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Well, I don't know. It is what it is. Looks like it unthreaded. You can see something threaded there. I see threads right there, so... We have to tear this apart and see what's going on. See if it's something that, you know, I can fix or if this is going to have to be completely replaced. Almost looks like it's going to have to be replaced. Come on. I don't know. We have to tear this apart. Ah. Come on. 
obviously you know <laughs> that wheel is definitely not supposed to be having you know a free spin uh rotation like that you can obviously see what what we did we we did find some destruction inside of there so the biggest thing is just pulling it apart seeing if it's something that we can fix seeing if we can get like pieces parts that will actually go in there or if it's something that's literally going to have to be like a total uh total axle replacement i have no idea i'm hoping it's pieces parts but i just don't know we'll rip that thing apart and uh that's it hopefully you enjoyed this episode from rc guy garage those uh flm paddle digger tires whatever you want to call them the paddle tires they hooked up really well um we do actually have two sets so the intention with that with the two sets is once we get some good sized snow or once we get a good sized snowfall is to throw them on the front to help keep the front elevated you know digging kind of pulling it up um in a sense at least that's what i'm seeing in my head uh but for running it in sand having the front the way it was um yeah fairly confident that watching the footage that i saw which i'll probably back it up i'll probably put like a little clip right here of what i think i saw in my mind right here on that um left side front wheel that might be the start of part of the issue when i did go for that first good tumble i'm guessing that's probably what may have dislodged something or nah, i don't know it's one of those things it's it's checking your vehicle and no i haven't checked the front end of this vehicle and now i'm paying the price so looks like we had a piece back out that's what i'm guessing I have to double check the other side. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll dismantle that front uh, side, see if there's any revisions. Because obviously this being the um, the 2.0, uh, there are slight revisions and changes that were made. I'm gathering that I probably can't buy an individual piece. I'll probably have to buy like a whole new axle for it or whatever. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's something I can do. Uh, it's one of those, it is what it is, and just keep ripping it. Does it suck that ripping it, you know, for that short amount of time, you know, happened? Yeah, it does, but it is what it is, and gets out there into the hobby, and also tells you to make sure you take a second vehicle, which I usually do, but, uh, for some reason I was thinking that this thing was invincible, and it's not. So, but anyways, getting back on that part, I think, I think what might have created the damage it's crazy i don't even know i don't know if it's damage or if it's just a loose part now nah, whatever so anyways if you enjoyed watching these episodes of rc guy garage granted again this episode was probably pretty short um i will tell you that those flm uh paddle tires they definitely do hook up i do like them better than the losi ones the losis just seem they seem too soft and i think i was kind of disappointed that didn't even come with foams, so I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. So, anyways, if you like watching these episodes from RC Guy Garage, you already know what to do. Subscribe, bell notification, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, just do whatever. Uh, just get out there and rip it in the hobby because that's what it's all about. Throwing a smile on your face and just uh, enjoying yourself. So, thanks for watching this episode from RC Guy Garage. I'm out.